Many moons have passed as the hunger pains of harsh survival chew deeply into his portly belly. The Ohio wilderness can be tough on a man, especially one who suffered a blow to the head on that fateful day. Was it the Dane Bramage playing tricks, or was that a distant movement in the grass? Excitement builds as thoughts of the first real meal in months washes across his scatterbrain. As is often the case with wilderness experts, the recent discovery of a pelican's nest has made survival possible. He races away with the lightning speed of a, a snail. A very common conundrum of cracked geranium. His only hope of survival rests in the abilities of the Swedish engineers. Or is that Swiss? No, Sweden. And is this really better? Than an army knife? With the steadiness of a mad elephant giving birth, he brings the falcon, or maybe an eagle. No, that's definitely a hawk. To his eye and looks for his dinner. He slips the package of projectiles from their snug pocket and slides them silently into position. The smoothest silk lever action of this baby takes his mind into another dimension. E equals MC squared. Was it true what the internets had spoken? Had Einstein served on the FX design team? Accuracy first. Gotta keep that bubble in the middle. And there is nothing better to stabilize a shaky shooter than the man who holds the world on his shoulders. Get her done, Atlas! Whether it's the effects of adrenaline or a brain like scrambled eggs, he ponders what is obvious to his eyes. That wascally wabbit is grinning. With laser accuracy, he ranges his game as the million dots settle into one. A flick of the anti-kill device renders the weapon live, and a soft squeeze brings the projectile release mechanism to the edge of the cliff. A feather light flick, and the deed is done. Over 70 pounds of jelly smashing bone energy, also known as JSB, renders the rabbit ready for reaping. <laughs>
after what seems like an eternity. I need a buddy. I need a buddy. I need a buddy. I need a buddy. He arrives at the buddy. kill. The ferocity of a chocolate <laughs> overcomes him as he celebrates his success with a crazed frenzy of a wild bobcat. <laughs> It's a good binding. <laughs> and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put the bunny, couldn't put the bunny to. Oh well, whatever. Hi guys. I'm Rollin from Rollay's Bench. What does the wilderness do to a man? Hey, welcome back. Just had to do a little crazy intro into FX Bobcat takes the bunny. FX Bobcat takes the bunny accuracy review. Okay, the reality, besides the fact that I'm a mess, is the Bobcat has some awesome potential. And some of you have been asking, when are you going to review it and show us how accurate it is? That's what we're doing today. Now I wanted to show you this shot again because this shot in reality was um, a little under 10 yards. Running, GoPro running? Confirm. Yep. Ready? Yep. Three, two. I don't think we could ask for better. Look at that. Is there stuff on the line? Look at that. Look, the guts fell out right there. All right, so now you've seen what really happened. It wasn't a 1,000 yard shot or anything nuts like that, but I've got a chance for a few days at an indoor range at a local hog farmer that has let me use a building before he puts new hogs in it. 100 yards indoor, no wind. Let's go take this bobcat and see what it really can do. All right guys, from comic strip crazy to a little more reality. Welcome to the hog barn shooting range. We've got a little bit over 100 yards, total space indoor, curtains up, and no wind. This is something I've dreamed about for a few years. Because the local ranges won't let us shoot these awesome guns at their powder burner facilities. Anyhow, FX Bobcat 30 Cal. Over 3,000 shots with this thing. And needless to say, I'm impressed. I have an FX 400 22 Cal Royal, and I love that thing. Um, shot thousands of starlings and miscellaneous other birds with it. But when this gun came the first of the year, and after the little bit I did show you guys, a uh, little bit of the mods I was doing, a few of you have been saying, hey, what kind of accuracy does it do? When are you going to do a review? Here it is. The review I want to do today is going to be a mix of computer techie stuff with software that will scan and give us data, and just good old shoot and see, thanks to Ted, showing us all clip going through one hole. So, we're doing 50 yards, starting off, and already I shot this card. Now we've done nothing besides the gun is stock. I have learned that besides the JSP 30 cal, this specific gun loves lube. So I use the Prolix lubricant. Now, if you haven't tried this stuff, guys, and you still use oil in your guns, you really need to try this stuff out. It is awesome. It's biodegradable, blah, blah, safe, you name it. It's been around for years, Army, Police force, etc., uses it. You can squirt it on stuff, cleans up, dry film, doesn't attract dirt. I use using all the guns, and when this guy came and I wanted to play with could my accuracy improve a little, I started just opening up a fresh can, splitting what can between two, a few squirts of this, roll the pellets around, load them up, and this bobcat loves it. Well, already. This proves what I'm talking about. We'll see that data in just a little bit. We did no pellet sorting. 
we just took them straight out of here and put them in to the clips. It didn't even look for nicks. So we've shot this card and here's the action. Now we'll go do 50 yards and I'll shoot each clip, nine shots, into these three bowls. I stuck a couple extra on here. We'll just pile them all up and you'll get to see the visual of the group and then we'll stretch to 100. Let's go! Hundred yards shooting at night. It's a long ways out there. I'm clear. So we're back at the bench crunching numbers. We got 50 yard targets, 100 yard targets, but both my son Kidron and I shot. I'm using the on target target data system, a demo version that allows us now to take these targets, scan them in, and get all kinds of fun data. Actually, it's a lot more than I even understand. I've never shot any competition, and so there's all these different kinds of scoring systems that I'm clueless on. What's cool though is we can give us a total average, it can give us five shot group averages per line. Let's run all this data and see what we come up with. Alright, the good old quarter nickel dime. Cover, 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 nickel, cover, cover. Cover, dime, almost, almost, and a cover. All right, let's look at these numbers. We'll start with Kidron's groups at 50 yards. He shot 106 holes in this target. And what we'll do is we'll go to the results of the on target software and it groups every 10 shots into a center to center. Now you can see them all grouped together and out of the 106 shots, again moving the gun within the rest each time and recentering so he's not just trying to shoot through one hole. His maximum spread across 106 was 0.9632. Zooming on down here to these center to centers, every 10 shot group, just check them out. Um, a lot of them ranging half to three quarter with a couple under a half inch out of every 10 shots. Now we'll move on to what I shot at 50 yards. This is a different target, the one I preferred, and it puts places everything in five shot groups. So here's the data. My max spread across all 50 shots was 0.577. And you can see every row, every five shots, it grouped together. And we're seeing things like 0 0.37, 0 0.42, 0 0.35, and my largest, the 0.57. I was really impressed with those numbers because even though we were shooting off of the stable table, as it's called, it's not like a concrete shooting bench. So we were noticing a little bit of flex as we would shoot and trying to hold still and compensate for that was definitely a, a challenge. But then again, we were after numbers that were closer to real world environments and not necessarily the extreme best.
So now let's move out to 100 yards. It was late in the evening. It was the last night we could shoot, and I was tired. Now, okay, I'll use that as my excuse. Kidron outshot me, okay? He just did. And I really was tired and worn out. So here's his 100 yard shots. And we do note one flyer. Out of over 1,000 shots that we fired at that 50 and 100 yard target out of this gun, we noticed no more than a handful of shots that we could call were truly a flyer and nothing that we pulled. And that was impressive because we didn't sort any of these pellets. We just dumped them in the tins, scored it on the lube, loaded them in the magazine. Check out these numbers. Out of 19 shots, because of the one flyer we discounted, his max spread was 1.625. His center to centers on each uh, group, though, were 0 0.83, 0 0.921, and 0.5. So he was able to shoot three groups under an inch at 100 yards. That's awesome. And finally, here we are, my groups at 100 yards. We have four or five shot groups, and here are the numbers. My max spread across all 20, center to center, 1.535. Of my four groups, I had two under an inch. The one was just pretty wide open. I pulled it, and I know I did. But hey, it was late. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Great gun, great shooting, lots of fun. <laughs> Every chocolate bunny has eggs. Let's get them, Corey. Four for four. Okay guys, until next time, cheers for the Bobcat, and no more stupid movies for a little, alright? I'm Bush. He's bleeding. It's the Happy Easter Bunny. He's not going to be very happy any longer. This is killing me. This is going, right? Yeah, look at it, make sure it's counting on the front. Video. I think it's happening now. Hello, Kaji TV. Yeah, I can Here we are. Last shot for the day. Freaking tired. Back over there. Here's my crazy crew. They're awesome. They're helping me. So I'll just keep this in the same one. Okay, read the next. Oh, the video is still rolling. It's fine, it's fine, it's all right. The click of the anti-kill device renders the weapon live and a soft squeeze brings a projectile release mechanism. <laughs> Hello.
Yeah, starts with the Pelican case. Gotta love the durability and solid foam. It may be heavier than others, but I'll still choose my Pelican. And why is it that Americans often think that the Swedish and the Swiss are the same country? What's wrong with us? Atlas Bipod? Get the real thing. You know what? The fake one is junk. Hawk scope, six and a half by 25. My favorite scope for the money. Level, if you've never tried a ball instead of a bubble, you need one of these. Jelly Smashing Bone Energy. Thanks, JSB, for an accurate pellet.